Most collectors have a favourite weapon in their collection, and uh, I certainly have a few. I'd have to say that this particular one would, uh, would rank as one, one of my favourites. Uh, it's the very first M95 bore Mauser rifle which I ever purchased. So I've had this baby for about 40 years. Uh, as I said, it's a M1895 in 7 by 57 millimeter calibre uh, as used by the Boers. It was really the mainstay of the Boer army. Uh, what struck me obviously when I bought this rifle was uh, there's some inscriptions on the butt. Initially, there's a, a quite a rough PV, and above that, very neatly carved, is uh, GPB Villun, Colenso, 19th of January, 1900. So being the first rifle, bore rifle I'd ever purchased, I went to extreme lengths to try and find out as much as I could about GPB Villun. And I wasn't disappointed. In those days, you had to write away. It was prior to emails, so I wrote to government departments in South Africa, and I had some quite astounding results. What I uh, managed to establish was that GPB Fulyun was Gert Peter Bezetenhout Fulyun. He lived on a farm with his 60-year-old father and his father's name was Gert Albertus Fulyun. So he shared the same, uh, the same Christian name as his father. What I believe happened here is the PV was probably what he attempted to do when he first got this rifle. Uh, all the boars were handed out these brand new Mauser rifles and they all looked the same. So what did they do? They put their initials or their surname on. Uh, I believe because he shared his father's uh, Christian name of Gert, he probably was known as Pitter, which was his second name. So I believe he put down PV for Pit for Yun, and then later on, as I said, he had some artistic burger do a jolly good job in writing or carving his name. Now, Gert Peter Bezadenot Fulyun uh, turned out to be an interesting character in as much as uh, well, we managed to find, or the archives found, an original letter written by Bezadenot Fulyun. It's a letter written in his own hand in June 1897. He addresses it to none other than Commandant General Pitt Yebert. He was the old Boer general who was in charge of all the ZAR forces. So this man goes right to the top. He says in his letter, I previously applied for a job as a policeman, dear sir. Uh, I've written to Commandant von Dum, who was a guy in charge of the ZAR police, and he told me I'm two fingers short, three fingers caught, of getting a job. So here I am writing again. I'm telling you that I'm a jolly good citizen of the land. Uh, he says in his letter that he's uh, prepared to stand on the land with his rifle in hand and defend his 60-year-old father, who is a hard worker and a good citizen. Would you please, sir, esteem, sir, give me an order to come and get a job as a policeman. I never managed to establish if in fact he did get a job as a policeman. I, I tend to think he probably didn't because we couldn't track his name down. But what we do know is he most certainly fought in the Anglo-Boer War of 1899-1902. Now we'll show you in addition to the handwritten letter which uh, Phil Yun wrote, there's also an official ZAR uh, letter from the ZAR government. And in the, the letter, which is the official letterhead, said our government, uh, it states that attached is a letter from GPB Fulyun asking for a job as a policeman, all written in Dutch. And interestingly, one of the uh, signatures below is from Louis de Silva, de Souza, Louis de Souza, sorry. He was the secretary in the Commandant General's office. So he was one of the ZAR government officials who actually saw that letter and obviously passed it on to Pitya Bert. Right, now we go a bit further. Uh, in addition to what I've managed to find out of uh, the Fulyun family, uh, we also managed to get a list of burghers entitled to vote. And that uh, letter states that Gert uh, Albertus Fulyun was 60 years old and lived on the farm of Ritfley. And also GPB Fulyun, his son is right next to him, also same address, Ritfley, which is the name of the farm, which you will see is written on the letter that he wrote to Pitt Yebert. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, in addition to uh, his very neatly carved surname here, GPB Fulyun, he's got the name Colenso, 19th of January, 1900. Colenso is a small town in Natal, and it's also the scene of a major battle, and in fact a major defeat under Sir Edvis Buller. Uh, it's a long story, and it's an interesting one, uh, but rather than talk about it here, if you refer to my video on the uh, uh, Mauser, the Five Battle Mauser, you'll see uh, a story about Colenso. Well, there we have it, uh, a Boer Mauser again uh, to GPB Fulyun, managed to track the man down, found out about him, 
found out that he wrote a letter applying for a job as a policeman and then went on to serve in the Anglo-Boer War. He wasn't uh, captured, uh, so I suspect he was probably one of the better enders who fought to the end of the war. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.